My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got another knockout collector car for you here. This is a legendary 1970 LT1 Corvette. This car has been verified. It's a no-hit body, has its original motor, trans, rear end, and it's in the really rare Laguna Gray color. It's a two-top car. It's got a lot going for it. You can read all the specs at volocars.com. Uh, you can also study over 100 pictures. And that's where we put the price tags on all the collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click on that bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But tops down, join me. Let's go for a spin. Okay. Uh, there is a five and a half page inspection report. Uh, from the previous buyer, he hired someone to inspect the car, a Corvette guy, went through the whole thing, got a nice report, helped me out a lot. Um, what we have here is a 75,000 mile car. It's been well maintained, not abused, uh, restored as needed, uh, real good car. Never been body off the frame, but just well cared for. Uh, the frame is the original, it's solid, it's been cleaned up, it's painted a nice satin black. Uh, the fiberglass floors don't look like they're damaged or beat up at all. He has a spare tire carrier. It looks like it's complete. It's in good shape. Uh, suspension and, and items were replaced as needed. Uh, the sway bar end links and bushings were replaced. The shocks, the upper and lower ball joints, uh, the rear leaf spring. Uh, so there's a miscellaneous list of things that were replaced, and there's a list of things that are still original. Uh, for what it's worth, he also noted that the car drove really well. Uh, no, no shakes or rattles, I think uh, was his terminology, but it drove really well. Um, you look up at the motor, it's really nice, clean, Chevy orange. Uh, has a correct looking starter. Uh, it is the VIN number matched M21 close ratio uh, Muncie 4 speed that's in there. Uh, in back, it's a 370 Posi rear end, also original. It's coded and dated to this car. These are independent suspension, front and back. Uh, the rear uh, half shafts, they call them, the drive shafts, the U-joints and that have been replaced back there. Um, uh, the exhaust system uh, looks relatively new, nice clean exhaust system. It, it looks like a factory type exhaust. You got the two mufflers, you got the square tips going out through the back. These also have disc brakes at all four wheels, which this has. Uh, they, they're working real well. E-brake system is all hooked up. Uh, so underneath the car is just very clean and respectable. The body is really excellent. Uh, he literally inspected panel by panel and under each one noted that there's no evidence of damage or repair, original body panels. Uh, he said one of the highlights of this car is that it has a no hit body. So all the gaps are really nice, fits really nice, bumpers are straight, uh, the car itself is straight, real nice. I don't see any, any body work showing through. All this stuff lines up like it's supposed to. All this stuff, you got the door and the hood and the trim, all this stuff lines up real nicely. The LT1 and the uh, big blocks have this raised hood. Uh, that's correct for this car. The headlights fit real nicely, the gap. All the gaps are really nice, and uh, as that was also noted in the report that the gaps are real good. The headlights do open and close. Up front here, this is all original. The grill, the trim, uh, all original. When you stand back, it's all straight. It all fits nice, not been hit. Uh, it shows very well. Uh, but there's a little scratch here. There's a little tarnish. Some tarnish going on down here, but it's good original. Has the splash shields that protect the headlights uh, in the grill. So real nice front end uh, original. The chrome here is replaced. The emblems are replaced. Looks like the mirrors, the door handles were replaced. 
as a correct original antenna. 15 by 8 Corvette Rally wheels. Looks like all the trim is replaced, all shiny and straight. Uh, the BF Goodrich tires, they look like new. The rear bumpers uh, have been re-chromed. New license plate uh, bezel there. The lenses are new. Now the paint, the Laguna Gray, very rare color. I think 8% of the Corvettes built that year were this color. Uh, so less than 500 LT1s were convertibles. Uh, if you figure 8% of those were gray, and how many are left today, really rare, rare color. Was there maybe 20, 25 of these cars in existence? The paint job shows very nicely. When you walk up on it, it's straight, it's shiny, it's glossy. It is a base coat, clear coat. Uh, but the paint is chipped off around the edge of the uh, fuel door there, or the world's smallest trunk lid, whatever you want to call it. There's some really light marks that would probably still buff out from the tops. The tops set right on here and rub. That's just a design flaw. There's a nick right here on top of the door, probably from the hard top. All oh, this looks really nice. So like I said, it shows real well. There's a chip on the edge here. Shows really well, but there are a few minor, minor imperfections. Windshield was replaced, nice clear windshield. Uh, this trim is good original condition. So why don't we open it up, check out that LT1 motor in and, and the interior. So you can see the door jams have been painted nicely. The weather strips are in real good shape. In the inspection report, they noted the door panels, carpet, and seat upholstery have been replaced. So the door panel's in real nice shape. We've got a, a original dash, original gauges, original mirror, visors, steering wheel, all that's original and good unabused condition. Uh, it does have a 6500 redline tachometer. That's uh, part of the LT1. It revs higher. We have an original AM FM radio, which uh, at the time is not working, but it's there. Nothing's cut up or broken. The right uh, reverse lockout shifter, uh, the heater controls, everything's in good shape. Uh, it has a new owner's manual. In the report, it was noted original mirror, but that looks brand new to me, so someone maybe changed that recently. We got some Corvette floor mats. A little bit of rust on the uh, handle of the uh, e-brake. This is not broken. Has its original seat belts. Uh, compartments are all good. The original jack is in this compartment. Uh, it's dated, 1969. Uh, it's dated properly to this car. Uh, we have a white convertible top in really nice shape. And then, of course, the uh, hard top is painted to match, and that's in good shape. The paint's been redone. The rest of it's good original. But now let's check out the legendary motor. When I say legendary, the LT1 motor, it's a tough motor. It, it was built uh, 370 horsepower out of a 350. At the time, that was just crazy. Uh, I read an article where it said you can't even compare this to other small block engines. Uh, you need to compare this to high performance big blocks. But the kicker is this weighs a lot less than a big block motor. Uh, so it's been verified, the casting codes, the casting dates, uh, the stamp pad on the front of the motor has been looked at. Uh, this is even on a blog. I found it online where other people were looking at pictures of the stamp pad and they were in agreement that it looked original. We got the original aluminum high rise, the original carburetor, should be a big holly carb, uh, the correct finned valve covers that came on the LT1, the right exhaust manifolds, uh, water pump, uh, all the components are original. Uh, we have a re-chromed original air cleaner lid, complete ignition shielding. Now, if you know what this is, but this is part of the smog uh, pollution equipment. It's all hooked up. It's a correct unit. Uh, collectors look for that, and it has value to it. Uh, the clutch fan, the radiator, the shroud, all that's intact. Um, you've got some 
this vacuum here, I think, is for the headlight door. It looks uh, more recent. And another vacuum diaphragm over there. So maintained as needed, like I was saying. But uh, the LT1, it packs a punch. 1970 was the uh, highest year for horsepower. And then after that, you know, horsepower has dropped. So this, this is the uh, king of the hill right here, the 70 LT1 convertible. This, this is it. This is the one people want. Okay, here's the hard top. Again, it's painted real nice. The trim is nice. The weather strips are real good. The headliner is excellent. The glass is excellent. So it's actually in very nice shape. So there you have it. It's a really good car, rare car. Uh, I noticed the headlight actuators up front there, they've been replaced as well. Uh, this car also has a deeper groove pulleys because it's a high revving performance motor. You don't want the belts to fly off. Excellent body. Car is verified. It's rare, desirable. I mean, this thing just checks all the boxes. Um, when I was just doing my research, right before I walked in here, I, I clicked online. There's one on there on the internet for 30,000 more than I'm going to be asking for this one. So someone's going to get a great car, great value. That's my impression anyway. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can uh, talk with the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, make sure you ask them. They'll help you the best they can. And they can help uh, with financing and delivery as well. They can get this car in your driveway. And if you enjoyed the video, I hope you did. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as they're posted. Thanks for watching.